And sadly, I wish it was under better circumstances, but the lady who joining us, who is joining us on the line right now, who is nice enough to speak with us, is the mother of the late Eric Garner. It is Gwen Carr. Gwen, thank you so much for joining us. I wish it was under better circumstances. How are you? Yes, I'm, I'm okay. I wish it was under better circumstances, too. Um, yes, and I, I can't imagine, Gwen, uh, and I would, uh, that this has to open up fresh wounds for you after what took place with your son back in 2014. When you hear George Floyd, like your son was, begging for his life, saying, I can't breathe, what, what is going through your mind? Yes, it's just uh, deja vu all over again. Um, just like my son was begging for his life six years ago, this young man was begging for his life the other day. And the disconcerned police officers, they decided to take his life anyway. It's just a... Uh, we don't only have a COVID pandemic. We have a pandemic with the police officers, the disconcerned police officers that are on the force. And it's just a tragic that they come into our neighborhoods and they brutalize, terrorize, and murder our sons. And it's for no good reason. This young man was not committing a crime. He did not have a weapon, but he lost his life senselessly. I, I agree with you, sadly, and this is also a pandemic, and I'm sick and tired of having to talk about it and innocent African Americans losing their lives. Let me let me ask you this. It, it's my understanding that there were no officers that were held accountable in the death of your son, Eric Garner. Are you concerned or are you afraid that we could possibly have the same result in this George Floyd situation? Well, what happened was it took five years for – the main officer in my case, and I'm still fighting for the other officers to be fired because they were all acting in concert that day. Uh, but far as uh, George George Floyd, at least they fired the officers on the spot. But right. now we got to see what the uh, federal government is going to do, and I just hope they don't that they have a better outcome than I did with the federal government. They drug us along for five years. Five years they drug us along and then said that there was uh, going to be no charges. They wasn't going forward with pressing charges. Mm -hmm. And to add insult to injury, the whole world knew about it before the family did. Right. Now, that's so inexcusable. I just hope they don't put them through this. And I'm so sorry, uh, not just the loss of your son, which no mother should ever have to deal with, but the fact that you had to wait years for anything to happen is completely inexcusable. I am totally on your side. I want to ask you this. If you're just joining us, we're speaking with the mother of the late Eric Garner. Very similar sad circumstances with George Floyd. They were both saying they couldn't breathe. They were fighting for their lives. I want to ask you this. Let's just say hypothetically, what do you think would have happened if there was one officer there speaking to your son back in 2014 and if that one officer said, Mr. Garner, we need you to put your hands behind your back, if he says no, and I'm not, I don't know if he would have said no. I'm just saying hypothetically, if he said no, what do you think the officer should do at that point? Because I don't have the answer to that. Well, first of all, that day, my son wasn't, career, he wasn't committing any crime. Right. They have a misconception that he was selling cigarettes that day, which actually he had just broken up a fight. OK, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of media that, you know, gets things wrong. So that's why they have to get it from the source. Right. Um, but even if they should not have even touched him because he wasn't doing anything wrong. Right. But um, he was just trying to explain that to him, to them. Um, right. Officer, I wasn't doing anything. And they just refused to listen to him. And it was just like they wanted to take him down. There was no reason for them to take him down to the ground. He wasn't no threat. He had his hands up in the air. So why would they do that? Just like with George Foreman, they took him out the car. He wasn't resisting arrest. Right. And he ended up being murdered. Yeah. No, I, and listen, I, I that's why we're talking to you, because we want to get the facts. And, and, and there's no question about that. And I believe you on that. Uh, what do you think should happen to not just the officers in your case with your son where he lost his life, but in this case with George Floyd? I mean, what do you think would be I – don't, I, don't, I don't like the word justice, uh, Mrs. Carr, and the reason why I don't is you're never going to get your son back. And even if those police officers are punished, 
Uh, I don't think it's justice. That's just my personal opinion. But with that being said, what should happen to these officers in your case with Eric Garner, your son, and in this George Floyd situation? What do you think would be a sufficient punishment? Well, sir, like you said, there is no justice for George Floyd or Eric Garner because they are they are gone. Right. But justice in general, um, I think for George Floyd, those officers should be prosecuted and convicted of murder. Mm-hmm. And like in my son's case also, it should have been the same thing. It should have been a slam dunk because it was caught on video. Everyone, the whole world, seen my son being murdered on video. Right. And it took five years for them to even fire one officer. And he's trying to sue for his job back. And I believe that that process will be expedited in the case of George Floyd. Last night there were there were riots in Minneapolis. There was there was also protests. Protests turned into riots. Do you think that you know where, where buildings buildings were vandalized, uh, things were burnt down, uh, t- you know, sp- specific places were looted? Do you think that that rioting over a situation like this helps or hurts the actual cause, no, and does it I, uh, and, and does it honor the I victims? Don't. I don't condone that at all because I don't uh, think anybody should go tearing up other people's property. But what happens is anger gets bottled up. Anger, frustration, um, the horrificness of the murders, it gets bottled up into individuals because it happens over and over again. And sometimes some, some individuals, they don't know how to channel that anger. So Mm -hmm. you don't know when it's going to combust. And sometimes it just, you know, just take one straw to break a camel's back. And I think that's just what happens. Yeah, I I think that's fair to say. Again, we're speaking to the mother of the late uh, Eric Garner. That is tearing up. No, I don't condone that. Yes. and And I'm happy to hear you say that because certainly nobody wants to see more people get hurt. Uh, There's no question about that. What would you say to law enforcement, particularly what would you say to the police officers that, uh, well, let's call it for what it is, uh, murdered your son, Eric Garner, and what would you say to the police officers in the George Floyd case? What would you say to some of these police officers right now if you had the opportunity? I would tell them that they do not belong on the force because they they do not know how to conduct with human dignity and all men and all women should be con- could should receive human dignity and they did not get that and our sons did not deserve to die like that no one's children did can you explain to us where you're at now have you received any type of financial compensation can you share with us that and where is as far as the uh, any criminal charges filed with any of the other officers i know you mentioned you wanted to get some of those other officers fired where are we at right now? Have you received any compensation, and what have you heard about those other officers, and is there a possibility they could still lose their job? Um, no, I haven't, but the family, the, you know, the kids did, and um, I just feel like, you know, the, none of those officers should keep their job. Oh, I'm going to have to stop now. I have to get out. From, um, no at, problem. At M- Mrs. Okay. Carr, I know this is painful for you. I just want to say thank you so much for sharing your story with us and, and your feelings. Oh, we appreciate so we appreciate you, and, and, and uh, okay. God bless you. Thank you so much. Okay, that thank is a uh, – yes, you bet. That is th- – thank you. It's, lot, it, it's truly an honor. Thank you. That is Gwen Carr, the, the mother of the late Eric Garner. You can hear the pain in her voice. You can hear how difficult it is for her to talk about the passing of her son. No mother should ever have to bury their son.